Not, not funny at all. Uh, another thing that wasn't funny is, is R Truth getting blown out of his boots. Dude, that was like, man. I know they're trying to pump the show up, but I mean, come on. Well, at first, I didn't know what <laughs> it kind of happened because I seen McGruber there and I seen R Truth there, and then all of a sudden, he, you know, I seen R Truth run back real quick. You know, I seen him run, take off. Mm. So I'm like, you know, what's going mm-hmm. on? But then his boots are there. I was like, oh, the fool took off to make it look like, like he blew out of his, out of his boots. Yeah, I mean, that, that right there, that right there was kind of dumb, yeah. but. Again, he just brought you up he just brought up a person that didn't even wrestle last night. Our truth. truth. He was there. But he didn't he wrestle. Four <laughs> matches. Four. Four matches. Four matches. Four matches. Our truth versus somebody else that could have been a fifth match. I mean right. Okay, so the last match you're talking about Edge, Triple H, Rey Mysterio right. versus CM Punk, Gallows, and Chris Jericho. Yeah, Chris Jericho. So 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 when we get into this match right here, the um the, the straight air society, CM Punk is a very good talent. And, and I mean, it was hilarious when he did the back wrapped up with the towel around. Yeah, the head. you know that's we're talking about. You know, a week from um, from now Sunday, we're gonna have the hair match. Is it a hair versus no it's match? A hair match? Okay, I suspect if, if they continue this feud, he will uh, CM Punk. He will win the match, and then the next pay per view will be a hair versus mask match, and then he'll definitely lose he'll his hair. He'll lose his hair. But I but mean, he got some cut last night. Actually. Yeah. So I think either if they don't lose it this time, mm-hmm. they're gonna do another match where he will lose it. But I am, I, I am, I mean, put my hair on it. I would put my hair on it. <laughs> you know, CM Punk is gonna lose his hair eventually. If oh, it's yeah. not this yeah. pay-per-view, it'll be the next one. But I mean, he, he's gonna lose it. Uh, part of one, he has to lose it because his followers already lost theirs. Yeah, so. and, and, and Triple H and them. This last week, they kind of brought it up right. before Ray Mysterio right. came in and kind of cut his hair. They kind mm-hmm. of brought it up. Why isn't your hair shaved? So now the the his little persona right. is my hair shaved now because yeah I'm yeah here. yeah he, he's he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna lose the hair eventually. We all know that you know. But like like you were saying, the match it, it was a good match. You know uh, they they played on the edge injury. You know Edge got hurt again apparently in, in the match. You know so he, he's limping around for pretty much. Well, the he got hurt from match. last Friday right. with him and uh, him and Chris Jericho fought. Chris Jericho put his Put a leg and a, and yeah. a, and a thing towards the um. So the he, he played on, on that very yeah. good. So, um, bottom line, you know, the match turned out like, like everybody thought it was gonna turn out. You know, Triple H in the match, you already know what's gonna happen. Yeah, he, he's gonna win on Monday Night Raw pretty much if he's in if he's actually in the match. He's nine times out of ten, he's gonna win the match. Right. So we had the, the type of ending that, that's typical of a Triple H ending, and, and and the thing that tripped me out about about the ending is, is when you see these guys. Um, like, 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 like they're playing on the edge injury. Right. But instead of instead of Triple H going over there to see if he's all right, what is Triple H doing? <laughs> Posing on the ring post, yeah. doing his big thing that he does. And I'm like, I mean, wow, he's just really out for himself. I, you know, and, and this has been many years, many years. I think Triple H honestly does not like Edge because if you look back many, many years ago, back when Edge was on Raw and he had mm-hmm. the title and, and Triple H had the title. Triple H would not drop the title on Edge. Oh, he would yeah. drop it to Randy Orton before he dropped it to right. Edge. So I think there's still a, a, a something in between there with Red uh, Edge and Randy. I mean Edge and Triple H between there behind mm-hmm. the behind the scenes. So I mean he because he, he may have more. He may feel that he may have more potential than him because he has more than five moves. Right. You know. I mean anybody has more than five moves. I mean I, I just don't see how anybody can still fall for the Triple H knee lift after ten years of it following the same move. If he throws you to the ropes. Why would you ever? Who does a back body drop anymore? Why would anybody go for a back body drop on anybody? Yeah. Part one, part two. Why would you go for it on Triple H when you know he's never gonna flip over you? Yeah. He's just gonna hit you with the the knee the knee lift that he always does, and, and yet they fell for it last night again. It's like it's like these guys these guys are are are, are sports entertainment. Sure, it's entertainment, but but they put sports in front of it. And and, and what and, and when sports athletes what do they do? They watch film. You will watch film to know that he's gonna do this. Right. Why aren't wrestlers watching film? Right. That's a good point. I think because because he has to look good. We we know we we, we know why. They have the you same know, five yeah. moves. You know. <laughs> I mean, you can watch the film so many times, but if you see the same five moves, and I mean, and he, has, he has to do it to you because. Hey, you know, Vince McMahon told you in the back, and hey, you fight Triple you H. Fight Triple H. So you, you know you got to do a back body drop. You got to attempt a back body drop in the match somewhere. And you know when he does that little knee <laughs> thing, you know, you know, perk, yeah, perk yourself yeah, up, look good, you know. But but th- th- that goes back to what we were saying, with seeing the same. It doesn't even matter who he fights because you're going to fall for that no matter what. Yeah. But his matches are so stale now, 
You know, and I actually like Triple H. People think that I'm just bashing him. I like Triple H because I'm he okay. can talk too. But like, um, like we were saying, um, we're gonna it's gonna be the after the bell is gonna be a, a, a once a week webcast that we do. Well, we appreciate you guys tuning in with us. You know, and, um, like, like I say, send us comments, feedback, what you guys want to talk talk about, what you guys want to see, what you guys, how you guys are feeling because we, we care. Yeah, we do. I mean, like I said, this show is built by fans. For the fans. Right. I don't care if I impress anybody big time. I want this directly for you fans because at the end of the day, that's all that really matters is right. us sports wrestling fans. Now, we need to come together and stick together and, and start putting out these stuff. And so right. the wrestling companies can see that the fans want more matches. Exactly. Four matches a yeah. night, guys. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's almost not even you know worth watching it because you, know, you got one match 30 minutes after the beginning of the show. Right. And then you got another match at the end of the first hour. Right. Then you got another match 15 minutes in the second hour. And then your last match is the last minute of the show. Right. And it always goes over. It goes, and it goes like that. And, 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 and like you were saying, it, it's just, it, it's just you know, when you think about it, when you show your first commercial before your first match, you know, after the intro and the show actually is on, and then you go cut to a commercial before your first match even starts, it's just something not right about that. Why are they cutting to <laughs> commercial, not during the, you know, the first intro is commercial free, 25 right. minutes. Right. That should be an opening match. <laughs> exactly. That should be the, the open, that should have been last night on TNA, that should have been the RVD Jeff Hardy match. Opening right, match. The While they're wrestling, they can get over the intercom or, you know, to talk to say, hey, this is happening because of this. Showing us a video at the picture in picture at the top and showing us maybe before, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in the back of RVD and Jeff Hardy saying they want the title. But have the match open in first because if you notice, no commercial breaks during the first intro. Exactly. On, on, either, on either network. On either network. But then as soon as they win the first match, they cut it twice. But, you know, like, like I say, hopefully, hopefully they will improve on that over time. As more, people, more and more people speak out on it, they will improve so, on it. I mean, and you know, next week on on Raw, we're not going to see five or six matches because it's the draw. So right. we're going to see probably four matches again. But but, but, but that's five. because of the draw. Yeah. See, it's different when you have something going on, you know. And um, who's the who's the guest host for next week? I haven't heard anything on it. I haven't any, heard anything either. Right. Maybe they're going to just do the do the draft host free. You never know. But um, hopefully it's going to be a good show. And um, you know, we're going to be here next week to talk about it. And we will. And uh, for everybody that watched today, we'll hopefully see you next week. Uh, I'll be here. I'll be here. And I'm your host, Flipside. And I'm Tim. Until next week, after the bell.